This is a quick look at the HTML5 map control, map.net map control on an iPad. And what I'm going to demonstrate today is drawing. This app is available through our interactive SDK if you want to check it out on your iPad or tablet device that supports HTML5. So what I'm going to do first is draw a path. So in order to draw a, um, a polygon, I just click that uh, button. And then I can come out here and start tapping my finger on the iPad to make the polygon. I can reposition nodes very easily. I can create new nodes by clicking on uh, the ghost node there. Um, I can also add additional paths to um, a drawing that's out on the map. And you'll notice that when I draw the second polygon, that it's actually creating a hole in the first polygon. Um, this allows you to leave uh, the drawing context open so that you can uh, move nodes from either polygon without having to switch between uh, your focus object. Um, we also support uh, being able to easily zoom in and out on, on the map in an interactive way. Um, so what I'm going to show next is actually drawing a polyline on the map. So I'm going to do path closed. I'm going to finish this path and then begin a new path. And by checking that uh, path is closed uh, um, button there, it's going to allow me to um, start digitizing a polyline. So these shapes that I draw, the lines and the polygons, these can be used for spatial queries, they can be used for markup or measurement, but most importantly they can be used to edit data. So if you want to have a um, field editing device uh, or an application that allows for data updates in the field, you can easily use uh, this, this drawing context to, to edit and update your, your polygon and polyline data up in the field.